2020, it started off busy, responding to winter flooding and tornadoes. At the same time, we're training up our gray shirts and getting prepared for what we expected to be a really busy spring storm season. All these best laid plans, they changed in March. The World Health Organization today declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. For families who already struggle to put food on the table, social distancing and quarantines can only add to the problem of food insecurity. We are looking for ways to plug into this effort. We have 110,000 volunteers are trying to think of how can we step outside of our norms to help other organizations who are seeing the strain. If we do this properly, if we take a strategy and if we make the commitments to help people that really need the help in a completely new context, Team Rubicon will not only survive COVID, we should thrive in it. Team Rubicon's built a platform, and shame on us if we don't maximize its value. I certainly know Team Rubicon's gray shirts will rise to the occasion. They'll step into the arena, they'll walk forward to serve those communities. But we just have to make sure that this is an all of America effort to help these communities respond and recover. Giving someone something that they could never have the ability to repay you for. Doing something for them that they cannot do. The thank yous, the heartfelt gratitude that you get, it's just really special. I call it soul food, like it feeds my soul. I think it means a lot to the gray shirts to be out here. Very excited to help other people. And Team Rubicon has always offered a vehicle for both veterans and civilians to offer services to their fellow man. All the things that somebody would need for a week's worth of food, we're taping the boxes up, putting the food in the boxes, and sending it down the line. Team Rubicon members, they know exactly what they need to do. They know what their purpose is. They get in, they work hard, and they go home. It's fantastic. The medical strike team here has made a big difference because we've been able to bring additional resources to the hospital staff, which enables them in turn to maintain their daily battle flow and their rhythm. I think that's something important that needs to be understood. It, it was very important because y'all didn't have to do it. You really didn't. The crew, they was, they was there with me. And they understood where, where I was coming from and they, they stayed right here. And I thank God for y'all, each and every one of you. I really do. Because without y'all, I, I still wouldn't have anything. Oh, this is beautiful. Just being there like you fellas are. You were here the day after the storm to help my family and I move some of these trees out of the way. We kept waiting all day, all day, all day. Somebody's gonna come by. Where's all the people? Where's all the help? Nobody but you guys. I mean, who would know that there would be somebody who would come out here and help somebody like y'all have that you've never met before? I mean, it's, it's so wonderful, and we want to thank y'all so much. Every team who stepped foot on this little piece of property has done nothing but be kind, safe, professional, courteous, extremely hardworking, gave every ounce that they had, and did the work with joy. Thank you so very, very much. We're all five for your beads. And that means that we have the ability to work together in unison and to fight. It's very important that we all work together to do so.